Hello my beautiful fart faces. Today I have a very exciting unboxing. Well, at least for me. Maybe you guys will find it exciting too, hopefully. But it is my first ever DIY moon shop order. Die moon shop? DIY moon shop? You know, that company from the Philippines. I am very excited for this, so let's get into opening it. Um, it looks like Customs has opened it on my behalf, so thanks a lot, Canada Customs. Thanks for ruining the nice wrapping paper. While I'm opening this up, I will remind you that I post new diamond painting videos on an almost daily basis, so if you like diamond painting, go ahead and click the subscribe button where I'm snipping in that corner, and you can join my hive and check out my new videos and ring the bell if you wanna get updated or notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so I'm just gonna, it's wrapped very nicely in this gray wrapping paper, but I'm literally going to cut it. And I did not use, I did not bring my knife for this because I was like, if I use my knife, I will cut my finger off trying to get this package open. So the story is, this is my first Dye Moon Shop order. I'm just gonna call it Dye Moon Shop, okay? This is my first Dye Moon Shop order and literally my friend, I did some work for her and I was like, don't pay me in cash, pay me in a gift card of whatever denomination you think I deserve. And so she was like, 200 is the max that you can buy in a gift card apparently she was going to do a $300 gift card, but that was not available. So she says, who knows? Um, okay. And so she got me a $200 gift card and I was like, okay, so if I spent, if I spend $200 with the gift card, what is the amount that I can comfortably spend? Oh my goodness. What is the amount I can comfortably spend myself. So I was like, okay, so I can spend, I gave myself a limit of $200 for myself. So the limit, the price limit for my Dye Moon Shop order was $400 because then I'm putting in 200 of my own dollars. So that is what I kept to. I do believe this order ended up being, okay, I don't know how you guys do it. This is probably why lots of creators unbox their canvases first like this, like get rid of the outer packaging off camera. But this is, the struggle is real. This is on here tight. It's a super tight wrapping. Um, but yeah, so I stated within the budget of $400 Canadian. And let's, okay, so shipping. You wanna talk about shipping? Shipping from the Philippines, cause it's shipped from the Philippines. Shipping cost $50 USD. So that is like literally $60, $65 Canadian. So this, this order was not cheap. It was not cheap. If I'm on a, but if you're on a budget, DIY Moonshot might not be for you. But again, this is kind of like, whoops, this is kind of like me ordering it specially for myself as a treat. I've been diamond painting for a long time and I still haven't ordered from them and I really love the artists they have so consider this a treat and I'm you can tell I'm out of breath because it's a struggle to get this open and I really don't want to cut the canvases or anything like that okay so let's check it out whoa this is a big baby I think I ordered four or five canvases we're only going to look at one of them today because literally I don't want to make a super long video and yeah sorry I was just cleaning up some crumbs so here is more wrapping paper let's see okay which canvas should we look at first we are going so you can see I got this canvas I got this canvas I got this canvas I got this canvas and I got this canvas, but we're going to look at this canvas because this is the one I'm gonna work on next, I think, I think. So we'll put the other ones aside, sorry. At least you got to see a little preview of them. So we're gonna be looking at this canvas. It's very beautiful. I forget what it's called. Oh, it is called 
the Moth version B by Jeremiah Morelli in measures 42 by 30. I went with the smallest size possible because I wanted to stretch my budget and I was like, this painting is small enough that I can go, or detailed enough um, that I can go smaller. So I'm happy with this size. It looks really good. I don't know what you guys think. What do you guys think? Should I have ordered a larger size? I think personally that this is a good size and I'm trying to stay away from ordering large ass canvases because large ass canvases can be such a pain in the butt. So this is really nice though. It is very soft. Is this a soft lint canvas? What they would say here is the thumbnail. And then here is the legend. And then we'll look at the details of the drill area up close. Are there any that are not easy to see? Any symbols that may be problematic? I am not seeing any symbols that are problematic. I'm looking in the viewfinder of the camera as well as just like looking at the canvas itself. Yeah, I think this will turn out really pretty. I like this one a lot. And it's like the perfect size for me right now. And they always put your name on the canvas apparently. So there's my name. And yeah, this is, so this is like, they have new canvases now. Before they never used to have this. This used to be just like a strip that they would print out and put with the drills. But now it's actually attached to the canvas, which is awesome. And this is going to be the big ass roll of drills. So let's take a look. I'm excited. This is my first ever order, so I think they included a gift too. So let's see what we have here. Here is a welcome gift. So I get a little butterfly cover minder. That's really cute. That is adorable. And then we have some stickers. Let's take a look at what stickers we got. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. that's my elevator music we have a donut Ooh, i want to eat this a rocket ship and then a butterfly so that's cool honestly like these are really cool extras but like i'm not like ooh, i'm so excited about these stickers and this thing like these are really nice but yeah it's good like it's nice a nice touch a nice thoughtful touch and then in here, we have a toolkit. You get two boats, two boats, two trays, uh, two things of wax or three things of wax. You get two pens. And they are seven placers on the end and single placers. Then you get tweezers. And that's all that is in there. Put that away and then... This, I believe, is just, she sp so my name is L-E-Y, which I had, but it's spelled wrong. So if you ever want to spell my name, it's L-E-Y. Thank you. So in here, okay, I'm not going to pull these out, but in here is basically four diamond painting pens, three diamond painting trays, tweezers, two pairs of tweezers, a bunch of multi-placers, and some wax. So another toolkit and next time I will say that I don't need a toolkit because literally that is a lot. Okay, so let's find our drills are right here. Ah, see my name is spelled correctly here. L-E-Y, the moth. So let's take out these and they come pre-baggied. So that's good if you like working out of little baggies. That is good for you, but I do not. I like to put them in containers. Let's take a look. See, I see an AB. Here's an inventory sheet. So there's AB 310. So there's one AB in this kit. There's a better thumbnail. AB 310. So we'll take a look at where that AB goes on the canvas. Eh. And I'll just show you quickly the AB. So here's the AB. Mm. 
now. Okay. So we'll pull up the canvas again. And 310AB is letter I. So where's I on here? So the I is this whole, this dark, dark, like this black area you see, that's going to be all 310. So here in her eyes, in the moth wings, and up here, and down in the corner, and down here as well. So that's where those ABs are going to go. What do you guys think about this kit? I'm really excited to look at my future kits. I will have those unboxings later on. Um, probably later this month on my channel, but stay tuned. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified when I do upload those videos. Let me know your thoughts on this kit below. I'm very, like, looking at this kit, looking at the drills, like this is a round kit, so I'm sure the drills will be fine. I am pretty satisfied. I don't, so the pricing is a lot, but you have to consider that they're licensing people and licensing artists and paying them. And also like, yeah, shipping was a lot, but is that something that they can control? No, it's probably out of their control because literally they told me that this shipped on a Friday and it came on Monday. So like literally that, literally, literally, that was so quick. Seriously, I was so impressed with how quick it, it arrived after they I got a shipping notification. So I don't know. I'm very excited with this. I'm very happy with my order. Let me know what you guys think of this image. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!